Hello and welcome. Today's guest is Ben Donaldson from Free Agent. He's going to tell us about Free Agent, but also the relationships they have with various banks and funders and things like that. So there's some interesting developments on that front. I know uh, Ben, so perhaps if you could sort of tell us a little bit about Free Agent and, and its relationship with, with other organisations. Yeah, absolutely. So hello, everyone. Ben Donaldson. So myself, I am a account manager at Free Agent. So I look after the Southwest, so sort of Bristol over to Southampton and, and down the coast. So I actually look after Steve. Steve's one of my accountant partners. And I mean, me myself, I have been a free agent now for almost two years. And yeah, you know, there's there's a lot happening with free agents. So kind of uh, as you started to get into there, so I suppose things that have happened recently, it's quite, quite interesting things. One of them being that Free Agent was acquired by Royal Bank of Scotland Group in 2018. So that's actually brought quite a lot of opportunity for us to, to grow, especially with small businesses. And, and sort of NatWest as a group have sort of circa 25% of the, the small business market in terms of account owners. So it, it opens up quite a, a big opportunity there. But then as well as that, you know, NatWest have now actually launched their own sort of online business account something similar to, to uh, I would say Metal, it's what it's called Metal, something similar to Monzo and, and Starling Tide, you know, those guys. And yeah, it, it's it's targeted to sole traders and, and limited companies with up to two owners, but it's a, it's a really good opportunity for, for sort of small businesses. So yeah, happy to sort of talk a little bit more about that. Yeah. So, so those accounts are actually free as well, aren't they, or something? Do I read so, yeah, so that is the, the huge benefit right now. So effectively, when the Royal Bank of Scotland Group to class was acquired free agent even the the big thing that we were allowed to then sort of do with that opportunity is we could actually anyone that has a business bank account with either rbs or, or natwest and now metal too yeah they they get free agent completely free of charge it's uh we effectively the, the, the bank subsidize the license is, is the best way to put it i, I think metal also give free banking as well do they i think that's right so that is yes yeah. so this is where metal starts to sort of come in with things so to effectively improve their 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 online or their digital services even natwest have now brought in in metal and yeah the offering is that it's it's a free business account it is so it doesn't actually have any transaction charges at all and you get free agent complimentary as well so it's a, it's a really good offer for for small businesses it is yeah. startups, people on, on the spreadsheets that I suppose are looking to go digital, especially with MTD for income tax impending. So there's there's a good opportunity there to for I suppose for for NatWest. That's, uh, incredible starting point for businesses because otherwise you'd end up having to buy you know pay pay, pay account fees, which could easily be ten pound a month or something like that, and then and then also buy software which could cost anywhere up to. Yeah, you know, twenty five pounds a month, depending on which ones you choose, sort of thing. It's uh, absolutely, and more than that if you buy apps and things to go with them. So, to get yeah. free agent and the account for free, it's fantastic. And also, free agent is very comprehensive in the way that it works. You can generate things like self assessment returns and things like that, and run payroll on it as part of the actual package, can't you? Absolutely, and and this is where I suppose the real benefit of a free agent comes in. It was an accounting software targeted to the end user rather than the accountant it was it was created by three contractors at the time and you know the goal was for them to be able to do their their accounts themselves all the bookkeeping themselves without too much issue it was they needed something just simple and easy and you know it wasn't by any means to eliminate accountants absolutely not you know you're still there and then you still offer the value add services and, and the compliance you know all the tax that side of things as well but we just want to enable small businesses to actually you know take control of their finances and be able to to do sort of that side of things themselves and it equally takes you know some of that work away from you and it allows you to to help in those other areas and and, and that's what free agents about is just being there for the client and, and a nice simple offering yeah and no, i think it's quite incredible what's in the package so it even does things like dividend vouchers and it does, as I say, it does do self-assessment, it does do payroll, it does VAT returns, it's MTD, make, making us digital compliant. I mean, it's if you're a, rel if a relatively small business, everything you need is in the package, really. So you don't need other absolutely. stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's, I mean, as you say, the, the beauty with it all is sort of your, I mean, if you are NatWest, if you're RBS, if you're Metal, you know, you get full use of that software. You don't have to yeah. add on any extras along the way. 
everything is sort of included and, and you get it at no cost and you know that is the beauty it's it, it's a full end-to-end -end software and you know you can you can do it all if you're with one of those guys for for absolutely nothing and you know if you're not and you're a small business you know equally you 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 have an understanding of what you get use of and you don't need to start paying any extra as you grow as a business which is always a a nice thing to do as well it's, it's good to not have to sort of punish a business for growing by by starting to charge them more money yeah 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 no it's uh i, I say compared to some of the other packages it's, it's it's very detailed most packages wouldn't do all of the things that you do i mean even i don't think even some of the, some of the more widely used ones have things like dividend values and stuff within them so that's that's quite good and payroll is normally an extra cost on all mm -hmm. the other packages so it's uh, it is it is a pretty fantastic bit of software, especially if you can get it for free for having an at West account. That's pretty incredible, really. It's one of those small added extras, exactly. And you know, for the businesses that are are suitable for free agent, you know, we I suppose we typically say yeah, micro businesses are kind of where free agent fit in the market. I suppose your your contractors, your freelancers as well. And if you were to, I suppose, explain in a little bit more detail who that is, you know, your, your, your trades guys, you know, your joiners, your plumbers, your electricians, IT contractors, or consultancy firms, if you were, I suppose, if you do maybe hospitality now, we've got some integrations there, like Goodtill, for an example, if you, even if you were a cafe, you can, you know, you can use things like that. So we've, yeah. you know, we've, ex I suppose, ex extended the scope is what I'll say, of who free agent is a good fit for. As, as previously, you know, that everyone just assumed that it was, I suppose, contractor focused or freelancer yeah. focused. But yeah, there's there's a lot changed in the software. Today. I think you can connect apps like uh, Receipt Bank to Free Agent. Are there other apps as well that you can connect? So yeah, so we have so we've got Receipt Bank and, and Auto Entry, and yeah. yet you can do your. So you, we've we've got ones with uh, with tax as an example. So you've got um, if I, I know I know we've got Tax Calc and I think. I think we just, just got tax filer actually as so, so we've just recently got I suppose is, is something which is interesting which is is coming off the back of that as well as you know free agent right now are working on on corporation tax and, and final accounts in the software as well so there's there's a lot a lot coming and you know we're, we're gonna yeah. I suppose when it comes to the integration side of things as well you know we've got good till which now opens up to the hospitality sector accountancy manager uh, and do, 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 yeah you know there's a few others and when you're on the spot you kind of lose you lose track of everyone that's there but we are it, it's forever growing it's one of those things where we've now got a specialized team within free agent that are focusing on integrations and i know some of the other competitors have you know several hundred and for us it's not really it's not a case of get as many as we can but it's actually where is the demand what do our accountant partners and, and our clients actually want to see and it's yeah. actually building up those those good relationships with the i suppose the integrations that are going to bring the most value yeah no that's 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 good that's good and um if you looked at your sort of user base where yeah. is there sort of, which what sort of where where are the majority of users who use your uh you use free agent would they be are they still in the contractors or are, are you is there a, a where are the significant groups of users who, who seems to be finding it the most useful so I, I would say that still in terms of who i suppose where our majority is i would say probably still does lie at the moment anyway with with contractors for yeah. the reason that we've got some some really good relationships with contractor contracting accountancy firms and yeah you know they i suppose free agent is kind of what they use it is their main go-to so they, you know, they have thousands and thousands of clients and they are probably are the top of our leaderboard in terms of, yeah. of that reason, just for the reason that they are, you know, it's, it's simple businesses. They're, they're not, they don't cost a lot of money to maintain and, and they need a nice yeah. simple software. And at the end of the day, that's, that's who free agent is, is a fit for. But, you know, as I say, it's, it's forever extending, it's forever growing in terms of what we offer. And yeah, you know, that's starting to open up a lot more to, to small businesses, I would say probably your your trades and, and consultancy is probably something that is is in a close a close run up to, to contractors. Yeah, and do you, is it free agent is like other software, so you can use it on any device, and there's an app and that kind of stuff for it. Is there what sort of functionality is there? Is it yeah. full, full or what sort of stuff can it do? 
Mm -hmm. So the so so yeah, you know, as you say, you can access free agent through your through the computer. You know, you can you can do it as long as you've got an internet connection. You can use yeah. free agent. And the I suppose the, the thing that is quite uh, important for us and the thing that we're really proud of is our is our phone app. So I suppose being a little bit biased here, but you know, market leading phone app. And the reason I say that is just the amount of functionality that you can do on it. The amount of th I suppose the just amount of what's available on the phone app. You can effectively run your business from the palm of your hand, which is Pretty when you say it like that, it's it's incredible. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. it's one of those things that we don't charge any extra for. You know, you can you can do your invoicing, you can do your expenses, you can do your bank. You, you know, you can explain bank transactions through the the mobile app as well. You, know, you yeah. can do all those things. The only things that we don't allow are, are you know self assessment or, or VAT. You know, you don't want to be doing your your tax. Through your through your mobile app, you want to be making sure it's it's all correct and, and I suppose going through it properly. But you know all, all those other sort of day to day things you can do through the phone app. And probably the best bit is as you go in as a small business, is when you open the app. You know on the home screen it, it has the tax timeline. So as a business, you can see all your impending mm -hmm. liabilities and and what is sort of coming mm -hmm. up in chronological order. So really, really, really good sort of opportunity there for businesses to to as I said earlier, just yeah. control of their finances. No, that's really good because a lot of the apps that do come with different pieces of software, some of them can be quite limited in what they can actually do. Um, and I know lots of them have been developing them further, but um, you, the more functionality, the better, really, because if you're out and about, you want to be able to do things like raise invoices or post transactions so that you don't have to do the old way where the guy goes out and works all day and then in the evenings he's got to spend his evening doing his accounts and exactly. <laughs> it just yeah. uh, becomes a burden, really. Exactly, it's it's a burden, and, and you know we've done a lot of research ourselves, and, and not just free agent. You know, uh, I suppose third parties is a better way to, to put it as well. I've done a whole bunch of research, and you know it, it's proven that if you are if you finish the job and you raise the invoice at the job, you're going to get paid quicker, and and that's yeah. kind of what the, the phone app does as well. It kind of helps with that credit control side of things because you yeah. can go ahead and do that, and if you can get paid quicker, then and also save yourself time rather than have to go home and. You know, spend one or two hours creating an invoice yeah. at that point because you've forgotten about it. Then yeah, yeah, it just allows yeah. you to, to be able to get paid quicker, which is you know, today, especially during the current pandemic, it's yeah, to be to be able to get paid quicker is is a godsend. Yeah, yeah. I mean, these are really difficult times at the moment. With um, yeah, I know that the restrictions are loosening a little bit, or have loosened quite a bit compared to where they were, but it's still very difficult for many businesses with social distancing and things like that. They're just not getting the the turnover and the the profits that they used to get if they're getting any profits at all and we saw you know a lot of travel agents you know saw haze on the news the other day where they've had to lay off quite a few thousand people because they you know it, now, now people can't really travel effectively to yeah. spain it's not very good really it's so, not so. so it's it's had a little bit of an impact and i suppose for us we, we've not seen a, a huge impact i know I suppose from from my perspective, looking after uh, our accounting partners in the Southwest, a lot of accounts have, have still been growing and they're still been taking in new business. So it's, <clears throat> I think it's probably at that stage now where, where some people have gone through that first stage of, of furlough and actually perhaps it's got to a point where they've been told that they're now you know being being made redundant and it's it's kind of spurring yeah. people on to actually go ahead and and start their own business, which is yeah, I've certainly noticed that. I've noticed more people. Uh, initially i noticed a few businesses unfortunately going out of business but more recently there seem to be more people starting businesses um and i think they're starting to realize that perhaps the jobs they had before are no longer there yep. and uh, they need to do something you know need to earn some money doing something so they're trying to start their own business doing something different Absolutely. Um, and it i think we will see a lot of that because i know there's 9.5 million on furlough at the moment and i think that uh, you know Unfortunately, when furlough ends in October, I could see many of those, unless unless there's some massive change to the way that the furlough works or there's some other incentive scheme or something, a lot of those could well end up out of work. And that means they need to really think about whether they could start a business or do something different because the jobs they had before won't be there. Absolutely. Um, and uh, I suppose for, for, for accountants right now, you know, if people do decide to take that step and actually go and start that business that they've wanted to do for years and years but you know it's just i suppose that the excuses come up that it's not been the right time because they've, they've been in a job and you know the, the safety was there but 
it, it's I suppose it's going to be a better time than ever for for most people uh, at the tail end yeah. of I suppose early early November. Yeah. If that is the case, and people kind of need to to go ahead and, and try and bring some money, and then yeah, it's going to be a. I, suppose for I, think, a I think that is often the way. I mean, there are lots of people who start businesses just because they want to start a business and they, and they decide to do it. But for many people, they're reluctant to take that first leap. And um, being forced to do it by circumstances is a big driver to making people do something. If you can't get work doing what you were doing before and you can't rely on your regular salary and that kind of stuff, then you've got to do something. And if you've got some skills and, and those skills are the skills that are needed, then, um, you yeah, know, why not start your own business? It's Absolutely. Uh, it could well be the solution to having an income or not having an income basically for some of that's, people. Well, I mean that's what it's going to boil down to and I suppose what it's going to do is create that sense of urgency as well you know if you're if you're told on I suppose 1st of November that actually you know what you're I suppose you're being made redundant if, if sadly that does happen to people then it's a case of you know what I, I, I've got to do something quickly and as you know as you say it's going to be a big driver mm. for people in terms of actually going ahead and starting something that they've always wanted to do so yeah. I suppose every cloud has a silver lining, even though this one's slightly grim. It's a bit of a grey cloud, but you know what? Yeah, yeah. I suppose the, the reward and the outcome for some people could be could be really, really good. Now, I, I also get quite a few accountants who um, tune in to listen to what we're talking about. So if anybody's out there and they want to become a partner, what is the process for somebody, for an accountant to become a partner to free agent? What do they need to do? Absolutely. So the the process really is so through the free agent website we have our accountant section and there's a bit more on on kind of what it means to be a free agent partner there, and and you can actually request a trial. So if if you do that, it will have someone from the the free agent so our, our sales development reps SDRs, so they now work with the accountants from the I suppose the, the early onboarding stages through to training and getting them comfortable on the software. And, and then all the way to, sort of through to the, the first three clients. At that point, they would then reach a, an account manager like myself. And, and that's kind of that process. It's really what we want to do is not, so I know some, some competitors, that is, as an example, allow you to just go sign up and, and you can just go ahead and get started. But for us, we really want to make sure that you're actually, you know, A, it's going to be the right fit for you, the right fit for your clients. Do you like the software? You know, are you aware of actually what is on offer and what it means? What's on, I suppose, what's yeah. available to you? And it's really just sort of education and, and and really making sure that you're aware of all the resources there, as well as it is helping. So I mean, we've got our, our a, a good relationship that we've got with NatWest as an example. You know, we can get you, we can get free agent partners in touch with local NatWest contacts. A little bit yeah. difficult to do the events side of things at the moment, just based on what's going on. But yeah, you know, nobody can really have events at the moment. <laughs> exactly, it's slightly it's slightly off the table. But when it does come back into play, there's the you know there's the opportunity for networking events and mm. you know any way we want to help our, our partners grow and, and sort of thrive with free agent as well. And you know we we've, we've got all the I suppose the resource there to help with it. Yeah, no, that's good. That's good. And and I, and I know that does work because I've had meetings before lockdown with our local accounts yeah our local nat west person all that kind of stuff and they said oh we could we see we do some referrals and things like that get you to and, and they were actually organizing some events for accountants to go to and stuff but uh obviously it all came to a bit of a halt uh, <laughs> yeah it's it's slightly no more at the moment and i suppose on that side of things i think they are uh, so, so I mean, the, the, that that West contact, uh, I believe, for yourself would be in a, a business growth enabler. That's typically yeah, who, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they are, so, so they are. I think they're almost back to normal in terms of their job role. You know, they're they're okay. almost back into, I suppose, normality. And yeah. Yeah, you know, they, they've just been helping with other parts of, of the business for the last sort of four or five, six months to just support all the the other small businesses that yeah. had to, I suppose, had questions and and what can I do. In terms of support to, to keep the businesses alive so they've still been doing a really really good job just not typically what they've what they've been doing previously what they're yeah. used to no no and obviously can't get out to meet people and things like that and it might be might be a while before we get back to to normal for sure because it could uh, be. yeah and uh, and also it's is virtual meetings are obviously much safer and uh, but it's uh, but it's not really the same as actually Meeting out with somebody and having a chat, not really. Quite. Yeah, not 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 quite. The, the, the I suppose it's nice to obviously see a person's face, and you can you know 
it's nice to actually interact this way. I suppose it's better than just speaking over the phone. But yeah, yeah. it's it's still nicer to be in a, a face-to-face environment and, and actually yeah. shake a person's hand. It's yeah, it's a much better way to, to go about things. But that's yeah. off the table I'm for not the sure I can remember the last time I shook somebody's hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Completely forgot about that one. So that's yeah, it's just irrelevant at the moment. And you know, soon enough we'll be we'll be back to normal. But I suppose how have you how have you yourself found things with with clients recently in terms of engaging with them? Yeah, yeah. Well, we've we found it all right. We we just explained to people that we want to have virtual meetings, so we have meetings through we use Ring Central. We also use Zoom as well. So, um, people say, "Oh, can I come and see you?" So, well, actually, we we're just doing virtual meetings at the moment, and most people are are okay with that. I haven't had anybody say, "Oh, no, I'm not going to do that unless I can come meet you." Sort of thing. They they understand that it's probably better and safer for everybody involved to 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 do that at the moment rather than worry about you know can i meet you can i not meet you you know sharing paperwork which everybody's touched and all this kind of stuff it's 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 yeah it, it's not very practical really so it's it's better to have virtual meetings although it does feel a bit uh sad at times because it's nice to actually meet people and talk to them face to face conversation yeah go out so, for some lunch or, or, or go to go to the pub whatever it might be that you want to do not not during work of course but yeah <laughs> but you know have that sort of interaction with people is yeah it's obviously it would be nice to do it and we'll get there soon but i mean yeah. you yourself i'm sure you probably found that i, I suppose speaking from a, a software company that you've you know you're the, the clients that you have that are digital yeah. are being really easy to manage and there's actually not really been much change for those clients over the last sort of few months yeah. No, we, we've been we've been sort of in a good place for that because we've always tried to adopt technology as much as possible. So we use um, online signatures for things already. We were already using that. We were already working from home uh, years ago. I used to have a serviced office and all that kind of stuff. But a while back, I decided to focus on a home-based operation rather than having offices with staff and all that kind of stuff. So, so there's still sort of four or five of us who work together, but we, um, we, we're home-based. So, so we didn't have to relocate because we, we were already home-based. And, and, and our technology is all cloud-based, so it's, uh, it, it's easy to share information, share screens, you know, using software like your own to actually log on and help people to make changes and things like that. It's, um, it's so much use, simpler than it used to be, rather than exchanging backup disks and that There's kind a of stuff. Of as well. in the yeah. Old days. Yeah. yeah. And it's it, it makes it significantly easier to I suppose for, for you to to see how a business is performing and, and equally keep on top yeah. of them things that they need to be doing. And equally yeah. for them, you know, to be able to see everything you know at surface level rather than have to go through all the receipts and figure out what needs done and, and where where everything is. It's you know, everything is yeah. it's right there at the palm of their hand or it's it's on the the, the computer as they log into free agent if I'm if I'm yeah. talking about ourselves. So yeah, there's there's good opportunity with with cloud software, especially with what's happened, and I think that's shown for quite a lot of people recently. They've, I mean, we've certainly seen a lot more adoption in free agent of of people putting clients onto software for the reason that if something yeah. like this happens again, yeah, there's a second wave. Me. Yeah. yeah, I mean, can you imagine it's sort of January time of next year if there's you know if there's a lockdown and trying to get information to your accountant for yeah, it would be it would be interesting. Well, that, that's actually quite relevant because um, we have picked up at least a couple of clients where they just were unable to contact their accountant. <laughs> the accountant decided to have, it was totally yeah. uncontactable. Yeah. You know, they couldn't. They couldn't speak to him. They could They tried phoning. They couldn't get through. They tried emailing. Didn't get a reply. And they just and the, and and to be honest, with some of those accountants, well, we've written professional, uh, you know. Uh, clearance letters and things like that and they, they haven't applied to those either so i don't know what's happened to those guys but um yeah. some accountants just seem to have kind of shut up shop and that's it <laughs> i mean it's been so so i suppose as a bit of backstory you know i started the account management role at free agent in probably the worst time it was the beginning of april and mm. it was difficult to get hold of some people in the first few months and you know i still haven't been able to get hold of of all my accounts yet and, you know, as you say, yeah, I think some people have just stuck their head in the sand and just tried to join, drown out the noise. And, I mean, for, for other partners, you know, especially like yourself, you, you've, you've taken on some new clients yeah. off the back of other people kind of taking, taking that sight on things. And, 
you know, for yourself, it's been positive, but for yeah. the other contestants, it's yeah, it's not been an ideal situation. But I mean, there's no. two ways. Is it that you've actually just decided to shop, shut up shop, or have actually you have you just been so overwhelmed with the way that you work? Have you been? I know some of them have been overwhelmed because it's. it's I mean, it's particularly the job retention scheme has added a massive amount to our workload. Um, it used to take us about, it used to take me a day or so to do payroll. Mm -hmm. Now it takes a week to a week and a half to do payroll. Yep. And we, we do sort of around 70 payrolls, but the, the, it's, the clients don't really understand how it works. They don't really, now we've got flexible furlough as well. It's how do you work out how many hours they worked, how many hours they were on furlough, and what should we claim? And you like to make <laughs> so it many easy. questions. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. been crazy, and it's then bounce bit, back loans. It's like you know, I, how do I do this? How do I, I need some figures for that? I need you know, um, I want to look at what I can afford. Yeah, it, the the number, the volume of extra work that's come from that has been massive. Yeah. And we took a decision early on not to charge our clients extra for doing that. We just did it because we wanted to. You know, if somebody's in difficulty, the last thing you want to do is say, "I'll help you," but it's going to cost you. <laughs> Yeah, and that's the thing. It's all about building that relationship with your clients. And yeah. If you've had them as long-standing clients for a long time, you know the last thing you want to do is end up losing clients. And, and I suppose for you to, to take make, advantage at their weakest point, not really. Exactly. Right. Exactly. It's not something you want to do. It's it's about a time of and the last few months has been just a case of help everyone as much as possible. Everyone yeah. get involved and, and I suppose just just help where we help where we can. And yeah, that's certainly what we tried to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As I say, I, I, as we know that, as I say, some accountants were overwhelmed by that situation. They just couldn't seem to handle it. Uh, I do know some that were in terrible trouble with it sort of thing because they matter what they had to do. Um, and also some accountants have had difficulty where they've relocated to home because they've been used to having high street offices and things like that. And they found that transition quite difficult. So it has been difficult for some people. Absolutely. But, um, yeah. That's well, I think we are work. moving to an area an area where um working remotely is is more going to be the norm rather than the exception. And I know that some organizations have told their staff, I mean Google did, didn't they? They said don't come back to work until next summer. <laughs> so work, is... work from home till next summer. Crazy. I mean, if you're a Google employee, you're 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 sitting at home and you're laughing. That's, that's brilliant. Yeah, I get to lie in every morning. I don't have to go commute to work, which is brilliant. And yeah. I mean, I, I know for us, we've been told that so we got told last week, week before, that we won't be in the office to any wholesale degree until 2021. It's going to be next year until we're we're probably all in the office together again. And, yeah. and from there, there will be not flexible working, but there'll be, I suppose, more opportunity. To, yeah. to work from home and it's just I think quite a lot of businesses have realized that actually working from home isn't uh, it's not an issue it doesn't cause uh, a lack of productivity it's actually for, for a lot of people it's it's shaving sort of two three hours of their day in terms of a commute and you know they're a lot more focused on what they're doing because you know there's no distraction at the same time yeah. and I think we've we uh, you know free agent as a business we've started to to see that as well as quite a lot of accounting partners, so not me personally, but I know some of the some of the other account managers, account managers at Free Agent, they have had some partners that have you know they, they've done the same. They've actually cancelled office leases that were due to renew, sort of mm. June July time of this year because they went. You know, what's the point of spending that money when we actually yeah. we, don't have to, we can communicate and we can interact almost in a similar way as it was previously, while yeah. still doing the same if not more work. So. The, the yeah. impact is definitely there. So it's uh, although it's been grim times, it's uh, there's there's been some there has been some positives in terms of the way that businesses are, are going to progress going forward, which is which is good. Yeah, no, I think that uh, if if this is to be the norm, then that could be quite good because although it's not ideal for everybody, uh, home circumstances may not be great for everybody, but if people were able to adopt working from home, it's better for the environment less commuting less traffic on the roads less pollution you know and everybody has more space probably if they do work from home so it should for, for, for a large number of people it should be a good option but i understand that for some people it, they work in an office is much better depends yeah. on your 
on, on circumstances but uh, but yeah it's um, it, things have changed and they will continue to change a lot has changed in the last six months yeah did yeah a, a lot's changed and uh, as nobody you say, would have predicted it yeah. Right, exactly. and it will continue to change and uh, i think it'll be it'll be positive you know i, I don't think i suppose the, the how long social distancing goes on will be a bit of a negative in terms of actually not being able to to see and interact with customers and go to meetings and events and that that sort of thing as it was previously but in terms of i suppose the, the business works as a whole internally yeah you know there will be some certainly some positives going forward which is good which is good Okay, Ben, I think that, that's fantastic for today's interview. Thank you very much for coming on and talking to me. No problem and at all. Uh, your details have been on the bottom of the screen throughout our interview. So anybody who wants to uh, recap and have a look at that and pick out your contact information, then I'm sure you'll be pleased to talk to them. And uh, thank you very much. Absolutely. been a pleasure. Cheers, Steve. Okay, 